Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Excel Draw on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, and installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. This is what will be installed today on Dockage Excel -E Draw. This makes it to where you can have a uh, virtual whiteboard that you can draw and sketch about just anything you want, a diagrams. Um, th this is what you can do with it. Um, it's free and open source. So, that's what will be installed today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over there to search, and I'm going to type in Excel. So, now you'll, you'll see how to install Excel -E Draw on Dockage right here. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go to the Docker Compose right here. So, version 3 of Docker Compose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called App. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Excel -E Draw. The container name so uh, that Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And it'll be easier if you're using the CLI to f uh, find the Docker containers. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default. And Excel -E Draw, Excel -E Draw, this is the Docker image. And then it's using the latest tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And the imports are 8,000 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the containers, 80. Do not change the containers port. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get the setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, I'm going to uh, start on my uh, Docker Compose. I'm going to go to Compose up here, and then now I'm going to type in Excel -E Draw Stack. And then now I'm going to go over to Editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and Post that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then everything looks good. So I'm going to go uh, say deploy the changes right here. And what this done is it downloaded the Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, got it up with Docker and Post underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the Docker GUI. So on the home screen, you'll see active stacks, exit stacks, and inactive stacks. So th these are just statuses of your stacks over here on the left. So I'm going to go in the stack. So up here, you'll see your actions. You can edit the stack. And you can add a new service underneath the services like this. And then services right here. And then it added Nginx underneath the services. So, um, and you can also uh, add the image right here. So it changes over in the, uh, the editor right here and the UI and vice versa. You can completely uh, delete that service underneath services. It's gone now. Um, you can have actions up here. You can deploy your changes, save your changes, stop and inactive, and then discard your changes. You can also add URLs. You can set environment variables, and you can set uh, networks, internal and external. So um, I'm going to discard the changes. You can restart the stack. You can update the stack, stop the stack and stop an inactive, and then delete the stack. Um, you can see the containers in the stack right here. So 8000 is the port that we'll go to to get to the UI. So you'll just click on this port and you'll go to the UI. Um, so you can go into the container. Uh, a bash doesn't work, but SH does. So there you go. You're in the container now. Um, you can see the logs down here of what it's doing. You can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose over here. So, that's a little bit about the Docker UI. So now we're in, we're in the Excel -E Draw stack. 
you can go to this port right here at 8,000 or uh, whatever host port you cha changed it to if you changed it. So now I'm going to go to 8,000. So now we have the UI open. So you can have your actions up here and you can start drawing things. Um, you can change the colors to green and then orange. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do to draw. You can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, there's undo and redo. Um, you can um, you can go up here to the top left and you can open. You can save this drawing to your computer and then it, you can export the image. You can do a live collaboration, uh, reset the canvas completely. And then there we go, it's reset. Um, this does not save all like on the server, so you will need to save this to your computer and then open it back up. Um, so you can change the canvas background right here. And you can also change the, uh, the, uh, the language, I mean. And um, so you can lock it and then unlock it. So uh, that that's a little about a bit about the Excelia Draw UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Excelia Draw running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.